Hi, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create these ramped zoom effects in Adobe Premiere Pro. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. I have hundreds of tutorials in the playlist on my channel like this and put out new ones regularly. And if you check out my web shop, I have preset packs, drag and drop bundles and bundle deals with hundreds of transitions and presets for you to use in your video if you don't feel like doing the whole tutorials step by step. In order to begin creating this effect, let's first add a transform effect onto our clip. So if I go to the effects panel and search for transform, I should find it in the distort video effects folder and I can click and drag that onto my clip. Now in the effects controls panel in the top left corner, we can see this transform menu appear. Now we're just gonna wanna find the moment of impact where we want to create our zoom. Let's say right here when they step out of the car and I'm going to begin creating some keyframes. So I'm gonna add a keyframe onto the scale and in my case, also the position. Now I'm gonna move forward just a little bit, however long you want this zoom to last, let's say just like right about there. And I'll create another keyframe with the zoom in. So in this case, I'll do 150 on the scale. So we've zoomed in 50%. And I'll also move the position a little bit so that we keep our focal point in center. So you can kind of zoom in on certain corners or angles you do just wanna make sure when you do that, that you don't create any black bars on the edges. So it's a little bit hard to see between our keyframes. I'm gonna just zoom in here by squeezing these two bars together. And I can play through this back just to make sure I didn't create any black bars. If you did, then you just wanna make sure when you're adding your keyframes, like let's say I went too far over and I didn't zoom in enough. You'd wanna make sure you just adjust the scale and the position appropriately together so that you don't go too far out of one position without scaling into it. So you avoid creating those black edges. Now already we've created a cool artificial zoom. Right now it's a little slow because the keyframes are a few seconds apart. So if I wanted to make it faster, I can just take the keyframes and squeeze them closer together and they'll go faster like so. Now, the reason I've done this in the transform effect instead of just using the motion position and scale that's already attached to the clip is that with the transform effect, you can adjust the shutter angle. So if I increase the shutter angle, we can create some artificial motion blur if we want. That's a cool option with this transform effect. So I'll turn the shutter angle up all the way and you, you'll see that that creates a little bit of motion blur but the closer these keyframes are together, the faster that motion blur will be to get from point A to point B. Now, although we've already created our zoom effect with this so far, what we wanna to do to give it a little bit more impact is add some velocity and ramping between the keyframes. So right now, if you look at the keyframes, they just have the standard diamond keyframe shape. This is just a linear keyframe. It just goes from point A to point B in a linear fashion, smooth and steady. However, if you drop down on the left-hand side of the scale, the actual drop down for this stopwatch or animation icon, you can see the path that your keyframe is taking from point A to point B. So here we got this linear ramp. But if you do things like if I right click it and choose ease out, you could see there be, there's a little curve that gets added. And if I right click the other one and choose ease in, you could see now we've created this little curve where it starts slow, it goes a little faster, and then it slows into the other keyframe. And the cool part is, although you can use these presets, you can also just take this the little tail end of this keyframe and you can move it yourself by hand. Adjusting this top line adjusts the actual scale parameter. So be careful, you can push this way too far up or down and adjusting the bottom line adjusts the velocity between the keyframes. So if I wanna create a sudden impact, I can make it so that we ramp up into our second position really quickly. So maybe it ramps up and then settles into place and it all happens at the beginning of the clip. Be careful when you're doing this not to go too crazy out of, out of whack, it might be hard to get back in sync. So you might wanna press Command Z, edit undo if you go too far. But here's what this will look like. It'll go quickly, burst into a zoom, and then settle into its position. And if I play that back, let's see what it looks like. And you can see we, it's created a lot more of a sudden impact. And also because it's going so much faster, the shutter angle or the blur gets a lot more quick as well. So if I was to just spread this out just a tiny bit, this, this is our impactful zoom rather than just the standard. 
And you could see it has just a little bit more bounce and motion to it. And you could do the same thing if you're zooming out as well. So let's say I, if you ever click this button, it'll add a keyframe. So let's add a new keyframe here. We're zoomed in and we want to zoom out really quick. So let's just, I can click this revert button to go back to 100. Make sure I revert the position as well. And now we zoom out like that, but I can also adjust the velocity of the zoom out so that it ramps a little bit and maybe zooms out at the end quickly. So my name is Justin Odisho. If you enjoyed this video, you can check out hundreds of more in the playlist on my channel and subscribe to stay tuned for all my new videos and go to justinodisho.com slash shop if you want to check out all of my effect presets where I've bundled together effects like this for drag and drop use in Premiere Pro and other creative resources. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.